welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Barbie. I have a family of six and live in Northern California in the Bay Area. Our grocery budget is always around $2.50 a week so if you want to see what I got for the upcoming week just stay tuned. Here's an overview of my Costco haul for this weekend. Um, it's a small haul. I didn't need a lot of things, just a few things that I get every weekend. Plus, I was um, able to find some new foods, and I spent a total of $80.81. I got these Evergood Fine Foods Louisiana brand hot link sausages, made in California, naturally smoked. And these are um, half of a link is six points, kind of high in points. Um, my daughter really liked these. She likes hot, um, spicy food. My husband, I know my husband is probably going to like these a lot because he likes spicy food also. So maybe for a weekend or if you, you know, pair this with something else that's lower in points, we, you can totally make this work. So I went ahead and bought it. Another um, new find, at least for me, were these Kirkland Sir Signature brand um, Turkey Jerky. Original, no antibiotics ever, 97% fat free, breast meat only, gluten free. They are delicious. They were sampling these also. Um, and it is only two points for one ounce. And it's a 13 and a half ounce bag. So super good. I was tempted, to, here are the macros. I was tempted to buy two bags, but I was able to <laughs> contain myself and only buy one for now. But I see myself buying these again. It was really good. I uh, got a bag of bananas. I got the organic ones just because these were, they look better than the regular bananas. I wanted them green because we still have um, a bunch that we're working through. So I got that. I got a bag of mandarins. Um, they are probably going out of season because I can see that the price is going up. So $8 for a five pound bag when it's usually been around the $5 mark. So they're probably, um, this is probably like the end of the season for mandarins. But last weekend I didn't buy them because they were actually even like $9 at the other Costco I went to. And my husband really missed them this past week. So I went ahead and picked up that. Picked up one container of yogurt, fat free, the Faye. Picked up these, this was another new find. Um, my husband got some of these last week and they were really good. Um, and my daughter tried them also and she said they were really good. And they're only two, two points for one roll um, of this. It's um, brown rice um, and it's sweet. It's super good. I think I've had these before. So it says low fat, low sodium, allergen free, no cholesterol, gluten free, non-GMO, kosher, and vegan. And there's 32 rollers in this pack. Oh, and it's organic also. So, and it's an organic crunchy rice. So went ahead and picked that up to give those a try. Got some eggs. Got some chicken, boneless, skinless, chicken breast, individually wrapped. This is my favorite chicken to buy love it and then i was so excited to find this at the costco that i went to it's usually this the costco i went to it's the costco by where i work it's not the costco i go to every weekend um and i've never seen these at the other costco so i was so happy to find this i hope i find them at the other costco i go to also because i've seen these um on other grocery hauls and on social media um so i'm happy that i found them and these are the blackened chicken breast strips I think they are zero points, and if they're not, they're like one or two points. They're super low, but I want to say I think I've seen them that they're zero points. I'll have to scan them. I'll put it on the screen down below. But I was able to find this, and that was all I got. So once again, this is my Costco haul for the weekend. Review of my Trader Joe's, Target, and a couple things I picked up at Whole Foods. So I will start on this side. I went to Whole Foods, um, this is only the second time I ever go to that store, um, and I had seen these on social media, and I wanted to give them a try. Um, it's a healthier cracker, it's a made out of cauliflower, and it's supposed to be something kind of like a Cheez-Its, and you can get a lot of them for low amount of points if you get exactly what the box says, which is 40 pieces for the nacho flavor, we got two flavors, and 
44 pieces for the cheddar flavor. It's four points, but you can get 36 of them or yeah, like 36 of them for three points, something like that. So I wanted to give them a try. Um, I can totally taste the cauliflower in them. Um, it only It's only four ounces. Yes, it's a healthier option, but for the cost, they were, they were on sale. They're regularly $3.99 a box. They were on sale for two for six. Um, and on top of that, if you're a Prime member, Amazon Prime member, you get an extra 10% off at Whole Foods but they're small. Look, you can get an idea. They're very small. They're not the same size as the cheeses. They're way smaller and they're super, super thin. Did they taste good? Yeah, they taste good, but I wasn't over the moon for them, but I wanted to give them a try. So I picked that up and I, I also went because I knew that the Sevias were on sale and I wanted to pick some of these up. I got the root beer and the cola. My daughter went with me, so she picked out the cola um, and the root beer. The root beer does not have caffeine, the cola does. They're good, I like them. It's a better alternative um, for a soda than your typical diet soda because it's sweetened with stevia and the ingredients are very clean. Um, there's zero points. And these were on sale two for seven. So at Whole Foods, I spent $13.60 on just the things that I got. Then I went to Lucky and to pick up the creamer because then again, that's the only place I can find it. Target is hit and miss and they did not have it at Target. So good thing I stopped by Lucky before, but it's so expensive at Lucky. It was $4.29 for the creamer. So this one is, um, it's one point up to three tablespoons or zero points for one tablespoon. And my daughter loves this. Um, creamer so I always buy it and then we went to Target and I spent only $32.78 I got let's see two packs of the Mission Extra Thin Tortillas we've been loving making um, tortilla chips in the air fryer so we've been going through a lot more tortillas and we've also been making um, like tacos breakfast tacos with eggs and salsa in the morning it's super good so I picked up a box of this um, brownie chocolate chip cookie. And these are the fiber one 70 calories, which are only two points a bar. So I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I've liked the lemon and the brownie ones that I've gotten. So I'm sure I'm gonna like this because chocolate chip is my favorite everything. Picked up four um, bottles of the sparkling ice. I got the strawberry watermelon, orange mango, Coconut pineapple, I've never tried this one before. And kiwi strawberry. And these are all zero points. And I'm really enjoying these. I know I've said before that these weren't my favorites, but um, I don't know. I have really been enjoying these lately. And looking at the ingredients also, they have way cleaner ingredients um, than the other sparkling waters that I like. And I'm still drinking those, but I've been really enjoying these lately. Got four cans of mushrooms. Haven't um, gone to the Supercenter Walmart where I usually um, buy my cans and stuff like that. So I picked those up at Target. A lot more expensive, a dollar for a small can like this. When at Walmart for double the size, it's a dollar twenty-five. So, but I needed some mushrooms, so I picked four of those. Picked up one can of cream of chicken, healthy request for a recipe coming this week. Also picked up a jar of chunky salsa and mild for a recipe coming this week. My daughter is traveling to Texas um, next week or this week on Friday. She's leaving to Texas for about 10 days. So she wanted some gum, so picked that up for her. Picked this up for to put in my bathroom. Um, these smell really good, like in small spaces, just like it says there. So I picked that up. Also picked up some of this um, fast acting lactase. It's like the generic brand for lactate. Um, I am partial lactose intolerant. And I've been noticing that when I eat yogurt, I get kind of bloated. So this really helps. I've been um, using this to see if I could not notice a difference and I do. So I needed to replace that. 
And what else did I get at Target? I think that's all I got at Target. So moving on to Trader Joe's, I got some avocados. My daughter loves to eat avocados um, for breakfast. So got three avocados. I got some of these gone bananas dark chocolate covered banana slices i've never picked these up before i don't know the points on these you can have four pieces for 100 calories so i'm not sure um what the points are but my um, my son and my daughter both came with me and of course every time you bring kids along that you always spend more so they wanted to try these so pick those up picked up one bag of the fancy shredded light mexican blend cheese um, picked some of these um, Thai shrimp gyozas. I've never picked these up before, so I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook this in the air fryer. We're actually gonna have this today, Saturday, when I'm filming this. We're actually gonna have this for dinner tonight. It's just me and the kids at the at home tonight. My husband is um, working a soccer tournament, so he's not here tonight. So we're just gonna have something quick and easy. So pick this up, and we're gonna eat it with this spicy Thai shrimp fried rice. I've never tried this. I've always wanted to try it. So pick this up also. Um, picked up some organic super su um, sweet cut corn and on these I don't know the points on these um, so first time I buy these but as I always say on the weekends I don't track so it's okay um, I'm not gonna worry about that picked up two of the rosa plantain chips one bag of the rolled corn tortilla chips chili and lime that we love so much and the points on these is uh, i believe it's five points but i always portion out just three points worth or two points worth which is eight chips for two points um and these we always portion i think it's five points also for the serving but we always portion out about three uh, points worth of these for a serving picked up another one of these um delicious super delicious um uh, so pick this up i don't eat this every day i just keep them as a sweet treat for the weekends i picked a bag last weekend and i took it when we went tailgating and it was a hit so i picked one more um because we were all out picked up a tub of the crispy crunchy chocolate chip cookies um i hadn't seen these in a couple weeks at trader joe's and i was kind of panicking a little bit because these are our favorite cookies and they had them again today so picked one up and you can have two cookies for one point or four for two points so they're delicious picked up this my daughter also she had um for her since she's gonna be going she's going to texas and then they're driving to florida so they're gonna be around water and everything so she i've been using this myself and it's really good so picked this up for her um picked a box of the organic salty square salting crackers not sure about the points either on those picked three more bags of the popcorn in a pickle or a pickled popcorn um we only got a couple more weeks before they're gone for the year so our stash is looking pretty good i think she says she has about eight bags so this would bring it to 11 bags i mean and the expiration date is fine so we're they only come out once a year and my daughter is obsessed with it so we've been buying about three bags every weekend um so she can have a stash to last her the rest of the year um then i picked up this freeze-dried mango it's so good i love this and when i have it i just have a couple pieces of something sweet and honestly i do not count it as points because i don't eat the whole bag i only eat a few pieces and it's just mango nothing else so that's what i do if you want to count points for it it's totally fine and up to you but i don't count points for it because i don't overeat on the dry fruits picked up um a bag of organic baby spinach and a bag of organic um romaine salad zero points on all the veggies and my daughter wanted me to pick up this kale she um to put it in the air fryer she said to try to make kale chips i don't know if it's gonna work because this is a chopped one but that's the only one they had at trader joe so we'll have to play around with that and see if it works um this i picked up at target she just needed this also um for candles she loves to burn candles and the one we had was all out so picked that up my son asked for dessert for tonight and he picked the um, 
a strawberry mochi. Um, I don't really like this, but he loves it. So pick that up. Um, and he picked this up also for dinner for him tonight. It's the pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl from Trader Joe's. Do not know the points on this because I won't be eating this. Um, but I'm pretty sure the points are high. So that is all I got. And at Trader Joe's, I spent a total of $69.22. At Target, I spent a total of $32.78, bringing me for a grand total of $200.70 for the week. So I was under budget by $49.30. So my meal plan for the upcoming week is as follows. My week starts always on Sundays. They go through Sunday through Saturday. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, I have chicken flautas with refried beans. On the menu, I have for Monday, chicken and gravy with rice. I love chicken and gravy. Um, and it's such an easy meal for Monday. Going back to work after being off for four days. I just want something nice and easy. Tuesday, ranch pork chops with buffalo cauliflower. It's super good. I make it in the um, air fryer and have rice on the side or a salad. Whatever, you know, everybody wants. On Wednesday, salsa chicken with black beans and corn. Um, bowls, we make bowls out of that. On Thursday, orange chicken with fried rice. We did not make the orange chicken this week because we were out and about on Friday, so we didn't make it. So I bumped it to next week. And on Friday, we either have leftovers or pick something up. On Friday afternoon, I have to take my daughter to the airport. So it's just going to be my husband, my son, and myself. So we can either eat something at home or pick something up since it's just the three of us. My stepdaughters are with their mom next weekend. Um, and on Saturday, I have a free-for-all. I don't cook on Saturdays. And um, going over my menu, I just noticed that I forgot I went over the beans. Like always, I forget something. So I picked up a can of fat-free refried beans that we're going to have tomorrow. And I picked up a can of black beans that we are going to be having with the salsa chicken. So once again, here's an overview of everything that I got. I hope you liked this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on my next video. Goodbye.